One of mankind's biggest questions is are we alone in the universe? Is the life that we see around us here on planet Earth today all that there is in the vastness of the cosmos? There are eight recognised planets in our solar system and at the very centre is a star, our Sun. The galaxy that our solar system sits within is known as the Milky Way Galaxy, a large spiral galaxy so vast that it takes 52,850 light years for light to pass from one side of it to the other. Nothing can travel faster than light, so for it to take 52,850 years to reach one end of the galaxy to the other proves how big the Milky Way actually is. It has approximately 100 billion stars, and if not more, and for each of these stars it is estimated that there is at least one planet orbiting them. That's approximately 100 billion planets in the Milky Way galaxy alone. But what if these stars don't just have one planet, but more so eight, like our Sun? The number of planets would then greatly increase. It is estimated that the observable universe contains two trillion galaxies. If these galaxies all were to contain a similar amount of stars and planets like our galaxy does, then the number of planets in the universe becomes two septillion. That's two with 24 zeros after it. If life can start here on Earth, could it start anywhere else in the universe? How many other planets out there could support life? What would life be like? Would it be simple life forms like bacteria or more advanced life forms? Would there perhaps be a race of intelligent beings out there, perhaps much older than the human race? Older and more advanced. Throughout time, there have been countless reports of people witnessing strange objects in our skies, whether it be balls of light or objects that resemble some type of craft unknown to us. In fact, unexplained sightings go as far back as ancient times. By looking at ancient cave drawings and ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs, there are many drawings which are relatable to UFOs, also known as unidentified flying objects. One example, the helicopter hieroglyphs found in the Temple of Seti appear to show what looks to be a helicopter and also a flying futuristic machine. Fast forward in time, flying machines would also be depicted in art, many of these being of a religious theme. Strange craft can be seen in the skies or in the backgrounds of these particular pieces of artwork, sometimes with beams of light coming directly out of them. Also, in this painting, two crafts can be seen, each with a humanoid figure inside of them. It is possible that these two craft looking objects may be representing the sun and the moon in this particular piece of art, however, even if this is the case, this does not explain the many drawings and paintings which are still in existence. One of the most commonly referred to terms for a UFO is a flying saucer. The first reported account of a flying saucer was made back in 1947 by a pilot called Kenneth Arnold. He witnessed what he described as nine boomerang looking objects in a night sky, flying in a V-shaped formation. When asked about how the objects were moving, he replied saying, like a saucer if you skip it across the water. This was misinterpreted at the time by a reporter who thought he described it as a flying saucer. For those who investigated this case, they actually believed it to be nothing more than a flock of pelicans flying together in a V-shaped formation. However, from this reported sighting, many more reports of flying saucers would start to appear throughout the world and are still commonly reported today. In 1947 in Roswell, New Mexico, it is reported that a UFO had actually crash-landed in the desert. A rancher by the name of William MacBrazel discovered the crashed object. The authorities were contacted and the US military went to investigate. The first officer to arrive at the crash site was Major Jesse Marcel. The crashed object in front of him he described as being made from materials that resembled a very thin metal, almost like tinfoil, rubber, tape and wood. Not only did he find a wreckage of an object though, it is said that also found amongst the wreckage were the charred remains of bodies that were inside the object that he described as little people. 
Jesse managed to take some of the remains of the object home with him and would proceed to show and tell his family all about the incident. It is said that the foil type looking material, when crumpled up, would revert back to normal instantly. The US military would then go on to recover the rest of the object and very soon after it was announced that the wreckage was nothing more than a crashed weather balloon. According to Jesse's grandson, when his grandfather was photographed holding some of the wreckage, it was actually a different material to what had actually been discovered. Furthermore, in 1994, the official story was slightly altered and it was admitted that it was a Soviet spy craft and the bodies were nothing more than crash dummies. Perhaps the most famous tale of alien abduction is that of a couple known as Betty and Barney Hill. The couple were the first reported UFO abductees, but their memories of that fateful evening were lost. They started to suffer with horrific nightmares, and so eventually both Betty and Barney Hill were placed under hypnotic regression by Dr. Benjamin Simon for sessions that lasted for six months. These sessions were a mix of together and being separate and their memories came flooding back to haunt them. On the 19th of September 1961, at approximately 10.30pm, the couple were driving late at night in their car in a rural area when they spotted a UFO in the sky. Barney described it as looking like a big pancake. As the craft continued to follow their vehicle, the couple pulled over. It was then where they recall six beings that started coming towards them. They noted other beings seen aboard the craft itself, looking out through the windows directly down at them. Barney was told to keep his eyes closed and don't open them. It was then where Barney was taken onto the craft. However, Betty resisted and eventually started to fight the beings back. In the long run, she was unsuccessful and was also taken onto the craft. They were taken to separate areas on the craft where they both said that medical experiments started to happen. Barney remained as silent as he could as he feared if he was loud, he would be harmed. They examined his body and were counting his vertebrae with some type of instrument. Betty had a very similar examination which ended with an extra long needle that was put directly into her navel. During the hypnotic regression, Dr. Simon had to end Betty's session early due to the severe trauma and agony that Betty was going through at the time. At the end of the experiments, Betty recalls being showed a star map by one of the beings. It was to show her where they had came from. After the regression, Betty was able to replicate the star map she was showed and it has now been hypothesised that the star system the beings were showing Betty is Zeta 2 Reticuli, which is 37 light years from Earth. If the story of Betty and Barney Hill is indeed true, then do otherworldly beings come from this star system? Is this another location in the cosmos with a planet that contains life other than Earth? At this moment in time, who knows? The search for evidence of extraterrestrial life continues. The truth really is out there. What do you think? Is there life on another planet? Or are we alone in this vast universe? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to our channel for more videos like this very soon. Please like and share with your friends. And until next time, keep seeking the truth. This creature, this leader is telling me something. He's telling you something. How? How is he getting it to you? I can see it in his face. Do you see his lips me? move? Yes. No, his lips aren't moving. Yes, go on. He's telling you. And he's looking at me. What did he tell you? Stay there and keep looking. Just keep looking and stay there and just keep looking.
Just keep looking. Could you hear each other? Oh, I got to pull these binoculars away from my eyes. Because if I don't, I'll just keep staying there. Could you hear him tell you this? Oh, no. He didn't say it. You felt he said it. I, it? I know. You know he just said it. Just there. Yeah. Just stay there. He's saying to me. It's all right. I'll take in my head. Just all don't right. Pull all the right. binoculars away. God, give me strength. All right. All pull right. them down. Run. Pull these binoculars down and run. God. It says, my God, give me strength. I gotta get away. Oh, oh, babe. All right, all we right. gotta get away, babe. All right, no. calm down, calm down. I'm driving. Calm I gotta down. get away. Oh.